So in this lecture, which is uh, to draw a three-phase circuit, you can see we have drawn three wires here, and uh, I want to draw more wires from uh, buses, three-phase wires from that wires. So I will use this option. Enter the wires. Move your mouse downward. You will see the wires are now inserted. So I want to insert three-phase components on these wires. So I have to move to icon menu just like I have inserted the um, components on single line diagrams or in letters we have to insert the same method mean we have to use the same methods to insert the three phase components in our circuit so what we want to do move to uh, fuses and we can either use this option but first increase the scale of the its scale and uh, either I can use this option three pole Use. Let's suppose I want to use the scale is too big. I want to change it to another value like two. If I want to use this option, like I have inserted the fuse in horizontal direction, but it adjusted itself, so I have to move to the right. And so this is one method. Another method which is to insert the fuses is go to fuses, insert this one fuse tag. Insert the tag, insert the fuse here. We will add extra like fuse, main fuse, and look at the catalog to to pick the actual rating fuses. Let's suppose I want to use that that one without blown fuse with blown fuse indicator. So I, there are two options I have to either use without blown fuse indicator or with blown fuse indicator with different ratings. You can see the ratings. So let's suppose I want to enter that one and its rating will be automatically updated. Uh, I can even enter the pin numbers. So click OK. And now MAPS is symbol to catalog number. OK. Now I want to enter another fuse which is uh, the second one 2 plus you can see the 2 plus so for siblings I have to use the, that part or that section which has the 2 plus option you can see there are 2 plus so I have to use these for siblings for child components and the other components for parent component so I have to use that one insert it uh, right here and uh, click the parent sibling insert the parent component its rating everything will be updated yes update child you can see its rating is now automatically updated so i have to move to drawing and uh, pick that one mm. manufacturer so uh, sorry sorry we have to, that is a child component so its rating will be automatically updated okay and now insert another fuse with the same rating and everything I have to enter it right here use this parent sibling com command yes update child and ok everything is now actually updated we can hide these attributes for better sh showing so I have hi uh, make hide these attributes now use the align component I want to align these three these two with that one so just use that command and hide the other attribute like that one and move that attribute from here to there select object move attribute that one select into the base point and move it here so it's now fine i want to move it also from here to let's suppose i want to insert it there so uh, next thing which i want to do is in link that component with dash line i want to link these two with that one so i have to start from here and into all the three and you will see that all the three are linked using dashed lines so this in this way we can insert the components to delete this one just click all these and click ok 
this is the fastest way to delete a component i have no child component so i have to enter no now i want to enter another component which is uh, overload you see i have three phase overload i have to use the vertical command and insert the overload here and move towards right so go to lookup table and uh, see its rating just as we have selected for the fuses actually it has no record so we can skip that option and enter command like overload for motor and uh, click ok we have actually no uh, no component in our list in catalog data so just skip that one and uh, now insert a disconnect switch Similarly, we can move to breaker and disconnect and um, either I can use the disconnect with the um, fuse disconnect or simple disconnect switches. So I have two options, either use that one fuse disconnect or either use this one. So I want to use the simple one. I have already used the fuses, so move with that one, three, three pole disconnect switch. Move towards right and click OK. And you can see the fuel disconnect switch is now inserted. If I want to uh, change its uh, attributes, I can even go to lookup and insert from here. Here are 948. So in this way, I can select from here. Now I want to insert a three-phase uh, motor for this uh, for this circuit. Just select that motor and click anywhere. Move. Just try to move your mouse here on the wire on the middle wire and insert the motor now go to lookup table and uh, see we have in record 500,134 motors so let's suppose i want to move uh, with that one two horsepower motor select that one and enter three phase motor motor and uh, click OK. We can even give the item numbers count numbers. So these are important to be noted. Yeah, it's connected now. So uh, just like I have uh, inserted these components, let's suppose I want to enter another bus. Uh, bus. Uh, um, I want to draw another bus. And uh, now I want to move on that way. Just I have uh, used the component on this uh, in this way. And insert the component in this manner. So it has the same method to insert the component just i want to show you this uh, a quick overview about these uh, terms like i want to use the three pole thermal circuit breaker insert here insert downward and uh, give the name circuit breaker go to lookup table and select any of the circuit breaker of your motor requirements your load requirements so it uh, take time uh, yeah click uh, cancel or ok repeat now i want to insert a three phase circuit breaker just move here and insert a three phase circuit breaker from the list i want to move with that one three phase motor circuit breaker so select the first line going downward and mm, give the detail like circuit breaker description catalog data item number count number locations everything should be entered perfectly so now i have inserted the circuit breaker the first one is not properly inserted so i have to move that component to properly adjust on the line so link the components and but i have to align also these components so now this is a circuit breaker now i want to insert overload move to motor control three phase overload i have three phase overload right here so insert it like downward name it overload or motor overload motor overload 
insert all the details and click ok and next thing which i want to insert is a discharge a disconnect switch move to that circuit breaker and use this three pole disconnect switch these are the different methods to insert components on our circuit now i want to insert a three phase motor for load go to motor control pick that one and insert your load or your motor in any location on the wire so that's why uh, that is the uh, that is the process to insert the circuit in different ways and to insert the components in different sections now i can also insert a single phase component from these one of these uh, wires and insert an, uh, and uh, connect the other end of the component or the load to a ground so how can i use that one uh, just uh, want to uh, tell you a small overview about that also uh, go to disconnect switch yeah choose that one but uh, before that i want to enter a line that's our line now and uh, go to circuit breakers choose that one disconnect switch and insert it here now i want to insert a single phase motor go to a single phase motor insert it here on the wire and give the details you can see it is inserted on the wire now i want to uh, i want to enter another wire in this section and mm, extend this wire stretch this wire to that point so i want to now connect uh, ground miscellaneous go to miscellaneous and ground yeah here is ground so i want to insert this ground but i have to move it vertical direction move it in vertical direction go to miscellaneous click ground and insert it here so it's all about our single phase circuit so if you want to remove this section or add source or destination to that wires it is possible so uh, now we can let's suppose we want to insert in line wire layers we can also insert these type of wire layers you can see it's red and uh, now next one is uh, yellow pick that one and pick now blue so we can insert these uh, these uh, labels also so this is a short overview about a three phase circuit we can actually create any of the complicated circuit using these procedures so whatever the um, complexity of a circuit may be we can create uh, circuits in this way so I want to trim these wires for actual view. You can see it's now it should be connected now. So all the wires are perfect and we can add the we can add the catalog data or uh, the ratings of these components based on the load of uh, motors or anything. So we can create multiple circuits in a single drawing and we can relate all these circuits using source destinations we will also uh, learn about pen in source and pen in destinations but in the next lecture we will also touch that section